What's up guys, daily challenges for today, we have evergreen huckleberry, spoonbills, and also bats. Just want to give a shout out to King Charlie who ended up, uh, I guess, winning this Gun Rush Teams event that we had to participate in yesterday as part of our daily challenges. I had to put this clip in because that is one hell of a way to go ahead and win the game. I think that guy got launched 50 feet in the air. So in these clips, you will see my male character, which is my second character. I need to go ahead and use him for a project coming up. But we have Evergreen Huckleberry plays killed with a gun, Spoonbills plays killed with melee, Horse Appearance, Showdown Series played, and Little Brown Bats collected. So everybody should be able to go get seven of these done today. There aren't any specific challenges for specific weapons, so it should be nice and easy. Now, there are plenty of locations that I like to use over here in this area where you can get these Evergreen Huckleberry. And you're going to head to uh, that area on the map. Just be aware there is a panther that does spawn in this area. And he likes to go ahead and try and take a bite of your ass when you go ahead and try and pick these huckleberry. So he will follow you all in this area, but he usually does spawn roughly in that location. As you come down the east coast here, you will find plenty of huckleberry. And as you go all along the southern part of the coast over to that little pond near the O, there are plenty of locations where you can go ahead and get this done just in case you guys are having problems with your challenges responding. And uh, sometimes people have to pick more than five. So there are plenty in this location, so you should not have any problem. They're all kind of grouped together. And then uh, I think next we're going to end up going on to the Spoonbills. After we get through this location, in this, <coughs> excuse me, in this clip you can see two here. And in the distance, there is another three. So there's roughly five at that specific location right near that pond. So again, plenty of locations. And uh, here's a couple more just in case, roughly around where that panther does spawn. So in this same area, you will be able to find your spoonbills on the coast. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three. It really all depends. There's also some heron mixed in. So a great place to go to get your huckleberry. Get your spoonbills, maybe go ahead and catch yourself a panther, get some big game meat from the alligators. So uh, I do like this spot, and that's the location right there where you can go ahead and get those. And that's the same area where you can get your huckleberry and also that panther. Now you can also get your spoonbills over here where we've been talking about getting these bullfrogs the past couple days. You can find them in a couple locations here, either on the coast or this island that is actually right in front of me. And that's the spot right there. You will also be able to find some spoonbills just a little north of the train tracks that are right underneath Caliga Hall. You'll see some islands just to the right. You can find a couple spoonbills that should be on land. You can also find some bats in the same area that we just showed where the spoonbills are. You can find bats at Elysian Pool inside the cave. You can also find them all along the southern coast of Rhodes. So I hope this video helped. Plenty of locations. Nice easy day for everybody. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.